Auto Attack Heart has been making a comeback lately as one of the best auto attacking ranged builds in all of Eternal Return. It's a build that spikes early, but it's also one of the most powerful late game builds in the game. And even recently, I saw a ton of success with Enad Heart as Pymaster and I actually brought Enad Heart to a $5,000 invitational where we ended up winning the entire thing. So without any further ado, let's go into the three main builds for Enad Heart. So this first build we're going to talk about is the build that we ended up winning the whole tournament with. This version of Heart actually revolves around the weapon called Teen Spirit. Compared to our other guitars, Teen Spirit has a few unique aspects. It brings 20 extra normal attack damage, or ENAD for short, as well as plus one attack range, which is something that no other guitar available to Heart actually provides. Now that extra attack range is actually huge on Heart because she doesn't actually have the longest attack range in the world, and that extra range gives her that little bit of extra reach that she needs to make sure that she can stick to her enemies as well as keep some distance between her and her pursuers. Additionally, the stat you want to be paying attention to is that extra normal attack damage, or ENAD for short. It is the main source of damage for these auto attack heart builds because when you evolve her passive, you shoot up to two additional bolts per auto attack, meaning three bolts total. Now, those extra bolts are so important because each bolt applies extra normal attack damage to it. So what this essentially means is that each time you auto attack someone, you're applying that ENAD stat three times. And to carry that over to the rest of the items in this build, you're going to notice a lot of these have extra normal attack damage on them or attack speed. And that is the main core of this build, is stacking a bunch of attack speed and extra normal attack damage. The Crusader's Armor, the Laurel Wreath, and the Veritas Lux Man, they're going to be providing a lot of extra ENAD in addition to your Teen Spirit that's already giving you 20. Your Radar and your Feather Boots, they'll be providing the attack speed so you can apply those extra normal attack damage bolts as often as possible. Now, as for the routing, you're going to be starting in Temple, moving to Factory afterwards using that teleporter. When you do that, you're going to be finishing your guitar in just two zones. So you spike relatively early here, but keep in mind, your damage will fall off very quickly if you don't also finish your uh, ENAD pieces, either your Crusader's Armor and or your Veritas Lux Mea. Now, there's two ways you can approach this third or fourth zone. You can either go to Cemetery third as you're leaving Factory into Chapel, or you can skip Cemetery, go to Chapel, directly and then travel through forest up to uptown. Either way, the result is the same because forest and cemetery actually just end up providing the exact same items to the build. So just like that, you can choose either to take the cemetery path if you end up on the right side of factory or just go straight into chapel if you end up on the left side of factory. Now one thing that is not pictured here is where you're going to be getting your tree of life. The Laurel Wreath does require a Tree of Life in order to finish, so you're going to be going into Forest to try to get the tree around the time it spawns. If you're doing this path efficiently, you should be finishing all five of your zones around the time the tree spawns. This is if you're going incredibly fast. However, if you're a little bit on the slower side, if you're still getting used to the route, you might want to just wait for the tree to spawn in Cemetery, as that one spawns about half a day later. Now, one thing you're going to have to keep in mind is actually that this build is very squishy. You have very little defense stats in this build, so you're going to be relying on your regen in order to keep you healthy. You gain HP regen from the Veritas Lux Mea and the Crusader's Armor and the Laurel Wreath and the Feather Boots. That plus your ultimate as a fight reset is the way you're going to be taking these fights and trying to not die. It's very important to kite extensively with your E as you can activate it three times to keep distance between you and people who are chasing you. Additionally, if you are able to keep track of a 7th item to add to this build, before you finish your Laurel Wreath, you can actually finish a Moto Helm between Factory and Chapel, and that gives you a decent amount of max HP to sit on while you're still waiting to get your Tree of Life. If you don't want to juggle the binoculars to finish the Moto Helm, you could also just grab the Bike Helmet and make a Safety Helmet, and then finish the Fire Helmet without actually going up to a full Moto Helm if you just want to get the stuff that's here in Chapel. In any case, it's something you should be aware of as your mid-game HP carry, but in the end, it's not that important if you don't remember. Now, that just about covers it for the Teen Spirit route. Let's talk about two different variants of this build. The next guitar we're going to be talking about is the Wall. The Wall has fairly different stats from Teen Spirit, but they'll both end up functioning about the same. 
The wall has significantly higher attack power than Teen Spirit, but it trades the extra normal attack damage that you are getting from 20 down to 2. Keep in mind, you'll also be losing about 15% attack speed and that extra attack range. But again, overall, it's about the same in the end as you're just going to be dealing decent damage because of your high attack power. The major difference between the wall route and the teen spirit route is that you don't need to start in temple because you don't need the Buddha Sarira to finish your weapon. Instead, you can two zone your weapon between factory and cemetery. Overall, the rest of the build is about the same as the teen spirit one, so I don't need to go over it in depth as I just talked about it. The only difference that you really need to be aware of is the fact that if temple is too contested as a starting zone, the wall is a good alternative because you can start in factory and finish your weapon between these two zones instead. Now the third guitar we're going to talk about is going to be Satisfaction. Satisfaction is another auto attack guitar similar to Teen Spirit and The Wall, but instead this one has a tiny little bit of lifesteal. It also has about a midway point between the other two guitars in terms of its extra normal attack damage at 11, so somewhere between 20 and 2 like the other two guitars had. Now, similar to the wall, the reason why you'll be trying this build sometimes is because the routing is slightly different from the other two. Having options in your routing is incredibly important in this game, and so that's why it's good to have backup plans such as Satisfaction, the wall, and Teen Spirit, depending on which map is less contested. Now, the routing for this build is actually pretty different from the other two, and honestly, it looks very inefficient being a six zone build that takes you all over the map, but I assure you, this is currently the most popular route for this weapon. So to take you through it, you're going to be starting here in Avenue and TPing over to Chapel. If you want to be very, very efficient with this build, I would highly recommend making repaired slippers here in Avenue, because you're otherwise not going to be getting any shoes until your fifth zone. Similar to how I mentioned it earlier, when you get to Chapel, you're actually going to be finishing a Fire Helmet as well to give you that extra max HP for the early game. While you're here in Chapel, you'll get your guitar done, you'll get the Vital Sign Sensor done for your radar, and you're going to have the Fire Helm. You're going to just be in pretty good shape, and honestly, you should be able to run down anyone who's near you as long as you have these intermediate pieces finished. Once you're done here, you're going to TP up to Hotel, grab the pieces you need, TP over to Temple, grab a few more pieces. Now from here, it gets a little bit dicey. You can either go up to Alley and check the dumpster as well as the trash bags nearby to see if you can get the stuff you need from Alley, as there are three pieces in Alley that you could use. Additionally, you could instead TP from Temple over to Dock into Uptown. These two locations should get you most of the pieces that you need, and you'll still be on your Vital Sign Sensor, but that's okay. Alternatively, you can TP into Alley, try and get some stuff in the center, and then TP anywhere where there's a bandage afterwards to finish your build. Unlike the other two routes I just talked about, again, this one's routing is a little bit sketchy, but overall, it is very powerful because you do get that early game spike over here in Chapel, and you can just start running people down, often getting a lot of materials that you need off of their body. Now, the most unique thing about Heart is the fact that she has an evolution point system for her guitars. For all three of these builds, I would highly recommend evolving one point in your Q and two points in your passive. What this does for you is it gives you a slow on your Q, which gives you really good chasing power as well as really good kiting power. And the two points on your passive evolution are essential for you to do any damage whatsoever, as that is how you're going to be applying that extra normal attack damage to every single one of your auto attacks three times. Now, as for your skilling order, I would recommend a skilling priority of R over Q over E over W over passive. If you feel like you're having mana issues in general, you're welcome to put a few points in your passive, but generally you should be supplementing your mana issues with SP drinks. You don't need to rely on your passive unless you're just sort of having trouble with SP drinks. But keep in mind, putting level points in your passive will not increase the damage of the extra bolts. It's just from the evolution points in your passive that you're going to be dealing any additional damage with your extra attacks. Now with all of that being said, I'm going to be playing an example game where I'm going to be playing the Teen Spirit version of Enad Heart, which is the exact same build and route that we used to win the $5,000 duo invitational recently. I'm kind of low rolling right now. This is, uh, this is really bad. Kind of super low rolling. It's 
for down a whole Buddhist river. That's actually fine. Uh, that's actually kind of just acceptable. We can just not run for the Veritas. I just claimed a lot of coins. You're welcome. I got you. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying Team Spirit out again. It's been a long time, but uh, we're out here playing it after the uh, the buffs. Ooh, okay, we're actually pretty good. I'm doing great. Uh, honestly, I'm doing great. I'm glad you're doing well. I was. I, do my sleep schedule sucks right now, so I was already gonna be up this late anyways. Decided I just do a stream. Why not? Felt right. been a really long time since I've seen you play Heart. Honestly, yeah. Dude, remember remember me playing Heart in like team modes? It's been a long time. Been a very long time. Basically ever since Gino stopped playing, I kind of stopped playing Heart. Breaks, breaks my heart. Nice. Wait, that's the thing I need to combine with. Yeah, the Heart and Magnus combo. That was the good stuff. I miss it dearly. Oh wait, I'm done here. What am I doing? Besides into No. Nice. That's a good location. Oh, it's so good. The instant feather is so welcome. You can do it with uh, Shukai as well. Yeah, you can do it with Shukai as well. Magnus is the most effective combi or combined with Heart though. Oh, I didn't realize I'd take away that HP. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Because basically, Magnus' W lasts way, way longer than Shukai's, and it's not balanced with the intention. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is uh, not good. Okay. It's not balanced with the intention of you, uh, what's it called, having the spin last the entire time right on top of him, you know? So uh, it does a ton of damage if you can actually force that to occur, and that's what you can do with heart. That's why it's so good. Yo, he kinda just died. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly shocked that anything beat a Plasma Sword. Yeah, considering what happened last game, yo. Revenge on the Yukis. Yo, the pen. Looking kind of good. Just in time to go back for tree, too. We're actually in, I want to say, incredibly good shape, but we are so squishy. We have a thousand HP to our name. We could pretty much blow up at any time. And this thing is four less Enad than we'd like it to be, but that's okay. Wait. There's somebody here. Ow. That, you know, that's fine. I just want my tree. <laughs> you can, you can add that. Yeah, Plasma Sword is... You always thought the Plasma Sword is a bit weak on that one? Oh, I thought it was a bit over over tuned, honestly. Plasma Sword slaps so hard. At least that's my take on it. Like, you definitely want to transition off of Plasma Sword, but like, for the early game power spike, it's really, really good, in my opinion. Okay, so we need to farm now. There's a person to our left, but I don't know if we can necessarily run at them quite yet. I, we probably can, but we don't have charm. We're extremely close though. 
A few chickens that we might actually be there. Like our damage is absolutely there. Yeah, we're there. Okay, cool. Food kind of sucks, but that's okay. Oh, camera. It's the Nadine that's still here. Honestly, I think we can take a Nadine. But I think we should just farm Arch, because the wolves should be showing up right now. Yeah, someone farm them right as they spawn. Oh. I like don't really need these things. Oh, there's two. I don't like this. Ow. That actually super hurt. Not not a fan of that. That's Temple doing it. So saying it's still up, we can still go finish our Veritas Locks. Like, we don't have to assume this is down forever. Because we haven't lost Temple yet, so Boos are still on the map. Now, mastery farming is definitely super important here. Because it's how we scale. Especially, like, also killing stuff early gives us a lot of, like, levels, just general levels as well. And since we have such a low, like, max HP on the build, since we have no max HP in the build, getting those levels to get that extra max HP is super important. This bear up? No, everything is down here, and there's a bunch of pings in alley, so I'm gonna go to temple. Finish my stuff. More food, please. Yeah, I kinda can't do anything about that. I don't have the materials for food. Yo, Nadine's. Chill, Blem. Like, that is still Blem, right? Yeah, it is. Relax. Guys, can you drop me that myth helm for next game? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Oh, there it is. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to pond. We're gonna make some orchids before it closes, and we're gonna go back for that bear. Herb. Nice. Just need a flower. Someone is on wick already. Jesus. We have like no food. There's the box. It's good enough. Please, please, please. Don't be getting it uncontested. Uh oh. It's an ISIL. So the Razi gets it for free. The Isol gets away, and the Dean just showed up late. Where are we gonna flower? Uptown? Yeah, Uptown sounds good. Make a little bit more food there. This is a tough fight. He already has the frag rack, but ooh. We're 
better get jumped here. Right? No? I, I swore that Jackie was gonna come right at us. Hmm. I think I'm good. Oh, dude, he's on my bear. But his name has bear in it, so I guess it's only fair. We have a full amp Cicela over here. Not a great matchup for us. We have to land like a really sick uh, charm or something. There we go. Okay. We basically have to bait out the E. That's how you beat Cicela, by the way, on literally every character. Just bait the E. I hear people complain about Cicela all day. And it's like, you know what's the weakest point of every Cicela's game? Is the second they cast E and it doesn't land. And at that point, you are free to kill her with complete impunity. Give up on bottles and make butter based food. I can also do that. Yeah, I do have the two milk. But my food's actually kind of okay right now. I don't need to stress about it. Plus, all these potatoes are gone. I'm worried if I go to Uptown, I'm gonna find Bloom. He's probably farming. He's kind of not. Like, burst. High burst characters is not what we wanna fight right now. If you have sustained damage, the shield doesn't help her much. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And now with the extra attack range on Teen Spirit, that makes this a cell matchup so much better. Like, actually just infinitely better. I think Teen Spirit alone jacks that matchup way in favor of uh, her, even though I think it is still in favor of Sasala. I think it's like if Sasala... Oh. If Sasala lands the... Hold on, I'm just dead here, I think. Oh, I'm very dead here. Wait. Oh, base. Good third party. Thank you. Good kind sir. You took the bullet for me. He's healing so much between those. Rousey is just just a whole character. He also just... Hmm? No, he's down on mastery. <laughs> he is wicked though. That is a big factor. God bless that. Dude, that Jackie... Yo, Jackie. Ki Kirihiro. Yo, shout out. My man. Yo, you can drop your PayPal anytime. I'll send you the five I promised. Razi, Razi just has a, a lot going on. But she has wick. That is a huge factor. There's still seven, okay, six people alive. That's crazy. This game should be over soon. Oh, I missed. Shoot. Is Q Watch good here? Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Q Watch is good here, but. The thing is, is that like, ooh, Nadine's up above me, fighting an Emma. Wait, that means that Emma's to my left. She in the bush? Rude. Yeah, keep keep watching definitely good here. The crit is relevant though. Like, the attack speed is only a ten percent difference now. 
and you get like what 24% crit chance on this thing like it's pretty it's pretty standard I'm not sure if the 10% is enough to to drop the radar personally Honestly, I feel like we can just jump on Blem and kill him. Like, he has a chance to burst this, but we have the mastery advantage. We have the sustained damage. He's got console, I think? How does he have vision of me? Maybe there's a camera in here. Oh, there's an Emma in there. Okay. Not quite the same. Hotel final zone, not what I want to see. At least I can clear traps fast. We also have no cameras. No blazing dress? Nah. Didn't come up. If I ult on Emma, what happens to Luke's Q reactivation? Will he fully run to where Emma was before? Good question, I don't have the answer for you. Um, I'd assume it would travel to her final location, but I, I again, cannot say with 100% certainty that I know for sure. Traps are out of there, thank god. Okay, he ulted. A little bit questionable, but okay. We have a Sylvia just beneath us. He somehow has vision of us. Honestly, I could maybe take her, but she might burst me. It's kind of concerning. Yo, Blem is suffering. Okay, there's two. Yo, we are kind of just dodging arrows like crazy right now. We are not going to let this Nadine set up. No sir, no sir. He wants this corner and nothing else. I am not going to let him have it. Absolutely not. We are not giving Nadine a safe zone here. No sir, no sir. Oh, 
Oh, no. Nadine's dead. Wait, what? Let's go, dude. So I'm telling you, man, twin, or not twin, teen, teen spirit's actually nuts. Like, I think satisfaction is still pretty good, but I think teen spirit's actually just nuts. Like, that extra attack range is huge. <laughs> 